At a sawmill two hours south of Perth, Mia Davies is cutting a path to victory. And what do they need qualifications wise? The topic is unemployment. The Nationals leader can barely hear, but the message from boss John Malatasta is simple. Without a job, what are you going to do? You can't do anything really, can you? Yeah, we all got mortgages and stuff and kids. The Liberal Party, which isn't in formal coalition with the Nationals in WA, recently announced that if elected, it would shut the state's coal-fired power stations within five years, threatening the security of this town's two local coal mines. The Nats call it short-sighted. And we will not be doing anything that uh, rips up contracts or brings to a, an end uh, the contracts that we've got in place. If the polls are right, the 42-year-old could soon be West Australia's official opposition leader, a job Mia Davies says she doesn't want. Well, that's all a little bit academic at this point. Um, there is only one poll that counts, and that's on uh, Saturday the 13th. We'll see what happens after that. Uh, our team has never shied away from a fight. That's a dig at the Liberal Zach Kirkup, who's already conceded defeat. Polls predicting his party could be left with just two of its current 13 seats. While the Liberal Party might be in trouble, the National Party actually views this election as an intersection in time. Far from losing any ground, they believe they could actually win this seat of Collie Preston, bucking any statewide trend. A win potentially lifting the Nationals from six to seven seats in the lower house. I think... Uh... You know, we need a good 10, 15 year period to try and find that next tranche of industrial jobs for this district. The Nationals, though, are worried Mark McGowan is eyeing off changes to voter representation in the upper house. Should he secure total control of both houses? Currently, the WA system sees regions have equal sway with the city in electing upper house members. But due to a population disparity, it means a regional vote is worth six times more than a suburban Perth vote. The disparity has favoured the WA Nationals and prompted speculation Mark McGowan could push one vote, one value reforms. Uh, that is a real concern. The Premier continues to avoid the question. He continues to say that it's not on their agenda. He has not ruled it out. For now, though, Mia Davies remains determined not to cut and run in the face of tough odds. We'll always stand up for what we believe in. Um, and when we do, we, uh, we tend to get our own way. Only too happy to sharpen her attack on those she believes are leaving the bush behind. Jonathan Lee and Collie Preston, Sky News.